Hello all, welcome to the API testing tutorial part 2. So we had seen API testing tutorial part 1 and uh, now we would have a look at how we can use uh, Jersey client for API testing. But before that, I must tell you that you need to have some prerequisite. Uh, you need to know a few things before we go ahead with this tutorial. So the first part is one has to know a bit of Java, a bit of core Java. But if you have not learned core Java yet or if you want to brush up, I will suggest you to watch my Selenium training tutorial part 2 and 3 where I covered the Java. You can uh, access them from my website and they are available here. If you go to my website seleniumtest.com you will find the uh, testing video tutorials and here you have uh, Selenium training second and third. So I would recommend you to watch these videos before watching this tutorial. And the uh, second part is yes you have to watch the first tutorial okay so let's continue with uh, this tutorial so we are going to have a look at uh, jersey client here so let us first understand what is jersey client the term client is being used here but it just refers to the api which is the application programming interface so jersey is a way to develop uh, restful services in java Besides developing the RESTful services, this can also be used to consume the service and this is a part of Jersey client which we are going to use today. We would be uh, using a sample application and we would consume it using Jersey client and when consuming it, we would do a couple of assertions. Okay, so it is said that uh, Jersey client is JAX RS implementation in Java. JAX RS means uh, Java API for uh, RESTful services. We had a look at uh, different kind of services in last tutorial, so I'm not going to repeat them here. Uh, so there are a couple of operations which could be carried out in the Jersey client. So if you remember, we had a look at how we can invoke, uh, well not invoke, but uh, how network uh, traffic happens uh, when you launch a website. So we had a look at uh, Wikipedia wherein lots of get requests were being sent. So here uh, we would see that uh, how Jersey client is used. So once we download the Jersey jar, all of these steps are elaborated later, but to give a gist of it, how we can use Jersey client is we create a client object. So this is something which I have described here. We create a client using client, client, client.create. And once we have this client object, we need to associate a web resource with it. So we associate web resource object by invoking client.resource and the API URL. So this is the API URL. This would be the URL with respect to your application. So you would have to change it. Now it is said that creation of client is time consuming. Uh, as well as memory intense so we should try to reuse the client instead of creating it again and again okay so if you are familiar with the curl command in the curl we have the get request the similar way once we get the resource object we can invoke the get request by using web resource dot get so here I am I'm expecting that when I invoke the get my response would be a string which is why I'm passing a string of type uh, you know the class object for a string not just the get request we can also pass different query parameters so here i create a map wherein i have two values associated with the map which are parameter one and parameter two and then i'm passing these parameters over the web resource with web resource dot query parameters the map i pass here and the get request not just the query parameter i can also have the host request with the form data so here i create form data with the name value pair and then i pass it over the web request web resource not the request so on the web resource i specify the type so this is the mime type uh, for the application and then we pass the post request so the post request here goes the form data and the client response is the response which we are expecting from the application so these are different examples of using jersey client now let us have a look at uh, one application one sample application with which uh, we would use the jersey client so fortunately uh, there is one sample application available from oracle itself which we would be using in this session you really do not have to uh, use this because when it comes to testing uh, api you would have one api being given to you from your development team but for sake of demonstration i had to get one sample application which is why i'm using it okay i would also like to point out uh, that the operations which we had a look at here these are all the way to consume uh, a web service using jersey client 
and as i stated earlier the jersey can also be used to in fact jersey is used uh, largely to create web services so we are not going to have a look at how jersey is used to create the web service the only part which we are seeing here is how jersey is used to consume the web services which is the testing part of it okay okay so let's move on to the client application so this application is available at this url yep this is the url and you can download this application from here there are a couple of applications there are different different implementations we would have a look at one of the implementation okay so this is the one and the one which i have used here is the json from jaxby so once you download it it would look uh, something like this there are quite a few applications we would see json from jaxby Okay, so this is the project. So we would uh, first see what is there in the README file. So this would be the README file. So this application has got something called uh, a flight uh, listing. So when we start the application, we will see the flight list listing and couple of attributes associated with the flight. So how do we start it? Once we have downloaded it, we need to execute the following command call mvn which is for maven clean compile execute dot execute colon java which would start this application as again if you are not familiar with maven watch my selenium tutorial i in fact explained about maven as well i suppose this is in the sixth selenium tutorial so coming back to the jersey client or the jersey sample application we would start json from check speed this application using this command so i have already started it let's see that yeah, so this is my project and here I invoked maven clean compile execute colon java after a few lines you would see that application has started. Let's see the next step. Yep, so ne next step is a sample uh, uh, get request. So after doing this, after starting the application, if you launch localhost colon 9998 json from jxv flight following response will come so as i was referring to we are using a flights uh, here sorry yeah so there are two types of flights here with in turn have couple of uh, attributes uh, say flight id company name and aircraft so there are two flights here let's see next okay and then we would be using the following get request but before doing this uh, we also have to download the jersey jar which is available on this uh, maven uh, repo so i have it open here go to maven org artifact comps and jersey jersey bundle so from here take the jersey bundle 1.9 point jar this is the jersey client which we would use to consume which we would use to consume the response of the application which we just started okay so yep so let us come back to the setting of the project so if you remember we were using uh, this project in first tutorial as well so in the first tutorial we had a look at uh, using jackson api right so in the in case of jackson api we were parsing one json file and we were creating the object on our own but this is not the case here so if you see the restful service test here which we are having a look at now we would not be creating these objects ourselves these objects are given out of the sample application itself and this is true with your development as well so when you have a request for uh, api testing you could ask your development team to give you the consumer so if you see here the flights is the consumer now where did i get these classes from so let's go back to the download so this was our download json from jxp and if i go to src main java com sun jersey samples and jxp so these are the classes which we have here so out of these two classes i have copied flights and flights try okay so these are the two classes which we are going to use here now let us see uh, let us see uh, how we are using it here so as i described earlier to use jersey we first create the client object so this is something which i have done here and then we create the web resource object okay so how do we do that over the client object we invoke one api of the client object which is a resource and then we pass on to the url of api so this is the url of our api so if you remember this is the url which we invoked uh, after having 
start the application from the maven command so this is the same url which i am using from the test okay and now what i invoke is i invoke the get request here so this is http get request okay so when i do this this get request will get us the flight uh, response and this flight response is something which we have copied from the sample object uh, sample project so let us have a look at this flights object so this is our flight object and it has a list of flight types if you do not understand the annotations it's okay as long as you know how you could consume the uh, api how you could consume the web service because these annotations are used by the development team to create the web services okay it's good to know these but if you do not know it's okay as long as you know how to consume them okay so yeah we were here wherein we said that we would invoke the http method get and uh, we are going to get response uh, about the flights here so this is our flight object which has a list of flight types okay and it has a get method get flight which gives us the list of flight types so if i come back to the test here what i do here is i get this i get the flights object and then I invoke the get flights, which is again a method in the flights class. Okay, so this get flights will get us the uh, a list of flight type. Okay, and this is a list of uh, flight type which we get from here, and then we find its size because it's a list. We can find out how big the list is, and we validate whether it is two or not. So if we go back to the application. If you see here we get two flights right there are two flights here so this these two flights represent the flight object okay so since these are two our versions should succeed now this is not the only part which we are testing here if you see uh, we also have iteration over the flight type so let us see what is the flight type so this is the flight object and then we have something called get flight method which we used earlier and this gives us the list of flight types but what is flight type let us go to the flight type so this is the flight type so this flight type class has four members company name aircraft and flight id right so this is one which is being uh, which is being used in the api call here flight id company number and aircraft so this is the same parameter which would be available from the flight type object so if i go back to the test now what we do next year we have the flights right so on the flights so uh, i can iterate through this flight so i get the iterator here which is the flight type iterator right and i keep going till i have the next iterator once i have the flight type object i can invoke uh, uh, different uh, methods to get the parameters or the instance uh, variables on the flight type so one of the instance variable is the company if you remember this this is the flight type this is the instance variable so this is the company right so it has a method called get company this is the same method which i am using here so i say flight type iterator dot next dot get company equals this so this is my assertion here and if the company name is not this it would fail so if if we have a look at uh, the response here the company name is same in both the flights which is why our assertion would succeed in the same way we could have had assertion over number or aircraft but i have not used them so the number and aircraft are also available in the flight type so if you see the number there is a getter for number as well or if you see the flight id there is a getter for flight id as well so this is a get flight id okay so let's come back to the test so we execute this test now these two assertions should succeed so let's try to execute them yep see how quick it is it is very quick because it is api test it doesn't have to launch a browser it would just happen behind the scenes so the test has succeeded we will keep some debug points and see how it is happening so i already have debug points in place and let me execute it once again yep so control has come to the flights right so this is the flights so we are expecting flights to have size 2 so if you see here yep so it has two flight type objects right which is why this succeeds if we move to next okay so it has come to iterator now wherein we have 
flight type iterator. Let us just open that. So this flight type iterator has again two values, zero and first. So if you see here, the company is checked airlines, which has to be the same because we have already seen the response. And again, the second uh, object, which again has the check airlines. So let me continue with this. Yeah, so here are test, which gets over and yep, it has succeeded. There's no failure per se. So I want you to understand the difference between this and the first tutorial. So if you remember in the first tutorial, we were creating uh, the object ourselves. So if you come to the Jackson API test, yep, Jackson API test here, we were parsing a JSON file and we were creating the object ourselves. But the difference in case of REST service is, what we have done is we have gotten a sample project and then we are consuming the consuming the API by using the objects, for example, flights and flight type, which are available from the sample application itself. So we do not have to construct these objects ourselves. When it comes to your project and when you are asked to do the API testing on your project, you should ask your development team about the consumers which you could use so that you do not have to create them yourself. You can just invoke them. So this was one example of using get request. And as I mentioned earlier, we can have post request also. In fact, we can have put request or we can uh, uh, we can also invoke uh, services uh, using, um, what do I say? Uh, for example, we can invoke the delete request and other things. So yeah, this is an example of Jersey client. So the sample project uh, I would be uploading on the website. Uh, its link would be available in the description of the video on the YouTube. So you could uh, download it from there. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like I, cre I enjoy creating it. And if you find it useful, please uh, click on thumbs up and share it with your friends. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye.